Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today video, we are going to discuss about Microsoft Azure Active Directory. So this is your identity provider within Azure. So with the help of Azure Active Directory, you can create identities such as users. And with the help of role based access control, you can give permission to the resources under the particular subscription. So if you see here, we have the users here as part of this particular Azure Active Directory and we want to give permission to these users on this particular resources which we have here. So we have Azure Virtual Machines, SQL Server, Azure Web App. So with the help of role based access control, we give permission to these users on this particular resources. So the benefit of Azure Active Directory is that you don't need to manage or build any infrastructure. Everything is managed by Azure itself. You have to just create a users and groups and assign the permission with the help of role based access control. So next slide we have what is Azure Active Directory we have already discussed. So let's go through this particular slide as well. So Azure Active Directory is a Microsoft multi tenant cloud based directory and identity management services. For an organization, Azure AD helps employees sign up to multiple service and access them anywhere over the cloud with a single set of login credential. So you don't need to suppose you have four resources and you want to give permission to all the four resources. So with the help of Azure Active Directory, you will create a single credential for the particular user and you will assign the permission to all of the all the four resources. So, so that's that's how basically Azure Active Directory help us. Azure Active Directory tenant represent the organization in the Azure AD. We will see about tenants in next slide. We can have single tenant or multi tenant application based on the project or organization need. So next we have a trust between Azure subscription and Azure AD. What's the relation between Azure Active Directory and a subscription? So when you create a Azure account, by default, it's create a Azure AD instance, sorry, AD tenant for you. So basically, this is a dedicated and trusted instance of Azure AD. And when we talk about Azure AD directories, so each Azure tenant has a dedicated and trusted Azure AD directory. This includes the tenants, users, groups and application and is used for performing the identity and access management. Next, we have Azure subscription. So subscription is used for grouping of the resources and also used for bling and one subscription can trust one directory at a time. So for example, we have this tenant. Okay. So we have a, this Azure tenant under this particular Azure tenant. We have a default Azure Active Directory called default directory. And this particular directory are, is mapped with this particular subscription, subscription A. But at the same time, this particular di default directory cannot map with this particular subscription because at a time, this is terms of test trust basically here. So at a time, a uh, one directory can trust with the only one subscription. So you cannot map these default directory and test directory with the subscription A. At a time, you can map default directory to subscription A or subscription B. So, in so why basically we have multiple tenants here or multiple test directory? Why we need to create a multiple directories here? So, for example, if one organization has multiple sub organizations and they want to segregate their particular users, so to achieve this, basically they create a another tenant and another directory. So, suppose we have a one a tenant called Conto Show. Sorry, I'll just remove this thing. So basically we have, suppose we have contosho.com, one Azure tenant. Next, we, we have a, another organization called Contosho Test. So we, we for, this, for that particular domain, we are going to create another tenant and another test directories. So we will see in Azure portal, how basically we create a tenant and how to map a particular subscription with the Azure AD directory. So next important thing, Azure Active Directory plans and pricing. So as of now, we have four Azure AD plans, Azure Active Directory free, free version, which we got. Next, we have Office 365. And next, we have Azure Active Directory Premium P1 and Premium P2. So each plan of AD has their own features. 
so you cannot get all the features in free free uh, plan so generally uh, microsoft recommend to use p1 or p2 instance for your organizations so there are basically difference with the, with the feature the base main difference all this plan is the features so if you see here a conditional access we cannot get in azure ad directory free plan and office 365 if you want to access conditional access policy then you have to choose p1 or p2 and if we talk about identity production in that case you have to choose p2 plan because that feature is not available in free office 365 and p1 plan in similar case so based on features basically we need to uh, decide what plan it suits in our organizations so let's see the demo of how to create a user in azure ad and how to create a azure ad tenant so i'm in my azure portal here we will see how to create a user and how to create a tenant so creating a users or tenant we have to go to azure active directory so as of now if you see i'm in my default directory and this is my the domain name shubhik agrawal gmail dot on microsoft dot com so first we will see the how to create a users so i'll go to my azure active directory and go to users here so if you see as of now i have two users here so i'll go and create a new user so if you can see we have two option create a new user invite existing users so i'll go ahead and create a new user i'll put name demo one and if you see the last name it's it's is it's my domain name if i'll expand this if you see this is my domain name so whatever the users we are going to create this particular directory that user will have suffix of this particular domain name so name i'll put again demo one password i'll choose let me create the password and rest of the things i'll leave default i go and hit create so if i refresh it So we have the users called demo one. So as of now, I don't have assigned any permission to this particular user demo one. If I log in this particular user, so let me log in with this user account. Okay. So as soon as I hit my entered my password, basically it's asking for update your password. So it's a Microsoft policy, uh, AD policy which is already there. So uh, based because of that, we need to reset up a new password here. So I'll again my entered my old password. So I am logged in with my demo one user. So if you can see here, I don't have access to any of the resources. If I'll go to uh, virtual machines, I cannot create anything because I don't have any permissions. So to assign the permission this particular demo one user, we use role based access control. So we will see in next video how to use role based access control to assign the permissions. So I'll just close this window. Now I'll again go back to my directory and I will go ahead and create. Now we will see how to create a tenant. So as of now, I have these many tenants. Tenant is the organization, a root directory basically. And under this organization, we have a tenants, this multiple domains basically. And if you see here, each organization has its unique identity. If you see these keys basically is all unique in all the tenants organizations. So let me go ahead and create a new tenant. So I'll go and create a tenant. Azure Active Directory is a tenant type. Next configuration. So here we have to provide the organization name. So I'll choose demo one. Initial domain name. So I'll put demo1.com. Reason. 
the domain name must be alphanumeric okay already in used okay let me choose another one dab or dab body zero one two three four now reason i will choose india and i'll go and review and create it i'll hit and create so it will take few minutes okay before that it's asking for you are not a robot okay so i'll hit the capture 4w4k yvpl so it will take some time to create a tenant so my tenant demo one which we have created it's successfully completed the so fuchsia the demo one is my organization name and the domain name which was specified dab body 0 1 2 3 something and it, again this uh, particular organization id has a different or unique a tenant id organization id so next we will see how to map uh, the particular subscription to these particular directories so if i'll go to my subscription basically we are going to see here about trust how subscription can trust to the particular id So if you, if you go to a subscription, I have here a change directory. So you can see I have these many organizations. So under these, these all the organization, I don't have any subscription. So if I need to map this particular free trial subscription to these uh, directory, we have to choose this particular option. Like if I want to choose this free trial to associate with demo one, I'll choose demo one and save but as of now my default subscription is mapped with my default directory so if you see here from to to so we have to see transferring our uh, uh, what is called a uh, trust basically or a subscription onto this particular directory so that's how basically uh, we and so basically at a time a uh, single subscription can trust to the single directory not a multiple directories because we, we don't have here any options to choose multiple directories so that's how basically Azure Active Directory or a subs can trust to the particular subscription. So that's all for today. In next video, we will see about role-based access control. So thank you so much. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it for the upcoming videos.